Hi, so my name is Andrew Peebles. I'm the Associate External Relations Officer working in the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs. Um, I just highlight that external relations doesn't mean um, I talk to aliens. Um, uh, it's mainly with member states of the United Nations on their space priorities. The UN Office for Outer Space Affairs supports member states of the United Nations to develop the global governance of outer space, which is essentially the rules of the road, the treaties, the, the principles, the, the international guidelines of how industry and member states operate with one another to ensure a safe and sustainable space environment. Whether we know it or not, we all use space on a daily basis. If you think about geolocation services that you use on your mobile phone, so Google Maps, Pokemon Go, Tinder, perhaps, um, if you think about space spin-off technology, so the camera in your mobile phone, the sensors on the escalators on your way to work, or the GPS in your car. So I would advise anybody that's looking to start a career in international affairs to think about who they are and their respective skill set. So for example, you could be an expert in a particular field um, working internationally with respective um, international or regional organisations. On the other hand, you could be perhaps like myself, a generalist who has a bit of everything let's say, transferable skill set in project management, communications, negotiations, research and analysis, um, and working more broadly at the international level. Growing up in Teesside in the northeast of England, I, I never imagined living abroad. I was the, the first person in, in my family to even go to university. Um, I had no understanding of what it meant to work in an international org organisation and I also didn't have um, the contacts to be able to think about starting that type of career. I, for anybody that's looking at starting out, all I can recommend is um, use every opportunity that you have to, to network, um, whether it be your professors at the university who will know experts in a particular field. Um, look for internships, that, that's always a good starting point. Or think about working for maybe your respective government or the UK in this instance um, in locally employed positions where you can get experience abroad um, working on behalf of, of the United Kingdom and that will again sensitise you to, to more opportunities internationally.